So it's been remarkable and, and, and frankly quite disheartening to watch technology policy get dumbed down in recent years as social media has opened the door to a new kind of populist fervor. You know, take the FCC's recent decision to regulate the internet under 1930s telecommunications law. They didn't do that because it was a good idea. They did it because of ill-informed public pressure. I've been involved in tech policy for a long time and I can tell you this has been a really profound shift. Thirty years ago when I worked at the Congressional Office of Technology Assessment, we would gather expert stakeholders from across the spectrum to respectfully and thoughtfully analyze any given issue. Then we'd make recommendations that sought to expand the public interest. Now, late night comedians have more influence than experts. It's about viral video and 140 character quips that flood lawmakers with emails and phone calls. You know, let me be clear, it, it's right and proper to have greater public participation in these key debates. The problem is when it de degenerates into know-nothing demagoguery. And the issues we're dealing with are serious. They're about how we drive innovation and progress in the digital age. So when we debate these important questions such as privacy or intellectual property, we, should be making ra we shouldn't be making rash, short-sighted decisions. What's worse is when policymakers pay attention to demonstrators at the end of their driveway and the flood of ginned up emails to their offices. Policymakers would do better leading the charge toward innovation and progress than blindly chasing the loyalties of these ever fleeting digital mobs. So here's an idea. Why don't the tech populace go focus on some relatively clear and straightforward important issues like closing the digital divide or making our voting system more accessible and leave the complicated issues to experts who know what they're talking about.